Hello, so I thought I might as well film this video while I did it, just in case there's any interesting results. So, for those of you that saw the stream whenever I did it, you'll know I've had to buy another Vostok, because um, I used the Vostok for ages, I had some sort of slight problems with the Vostok that made it not too reliable as a daily wear anymore. I bought an Orient Mako 2, thinking, you know, brand new Japanese mechanical watch, that would be a lot better, and using electromagnetic fields, I've somehow ruined that. Um, so what I'm going to do is attempt to degauss it in this video and see if we have any luck with it. So my daily wear watch again now is a Vostok, just because Soviet engineering. But anyway, so here's the problem. Now if I zoom in here, hopefully you can see this. There's a compass, and there's the Orient Mako on the right. And the Orient Mako makes the compass move, um, because it's obviously, you know, been magnetised. So what I've got here is one of those... Um, cheapo the gaussers i've had this before because i've had to use it uh, before but the idea of these is basically you hold the button down and then slowly lift the watch away from the um magnet here and sort of repeat a few times and the idea is it's meant to demagnetize the watch so hopefully if this works we can do it a few times wind the watch up and it might start working again properly, but at the moment the issue is the watch will randomly start sticking or it will start losing like 5 to 10 minutes per day, which is nowhere near the sort of accuracy range of what this watch should be. So that's done that. Is that still magnetic? Not as much. Still a little bit, um, according to that, but to start, let's try it this way around as well. But yeah, this is the problem if you mess with... Um, plasma balls and all stuff like that with dive watches and mechanical watches, turns out it's not too good for them. Uh, right. Let's have a go now. Is this still doing it? Not as strongly again, so we're getting there. So let's um, give this a wind. I don't care about what the time says on it, I just want to see will it start going if I give it a bit of a wind and then a slap. Because as I said, the issue I've been having with it is just it will randomly stop or it will lose 5 to 10 minutes a day. I'm pretty sure it's because of magnetic fields causing bits to just basically get stuck inside the watch. Um, so that's enough of a wind that if it was actually going to go, it should start going now. So let's give it a bit of a shake once I get the cap back in. Right. Is it going to start? Well, I get the impression if it starts, it will probably be alright. But if it doesn't start, it's still sort of seized up internally. Right, it started again. So you can see the minute hand, or the second hand, sorry, is actually going again. So good. That's at least got that bit working. Let's just degauss it a little bit more. But yeah, so I think that's the main problem. So what I'll do later on is I'll give this a really good wind up. Um, I might wear it as a second watch, as silly as that might look, just to see if it's going to reliably keep its time now. Um, as it's got stuck again. I think it might have got stuck again. Because um, if so, that's part of the problem. Yeah, see that? It's stuck. Brilliant. So. I don't know if you meant to do that, but that works with Vostok sometimes. Anyway, we'll, we'll see what happens with this, but as I said, I think part of the problem is a magnetisation problem. Um, do the Vostoks magnetise a bit? Yeah, they're slightly magnetised as well, but these never seem to cause an issue. But the Vostoks have got a really good anti-magnetic sort of magnetic, um, thing with them. So yeah, Vostoks, as I've said before, old Soviet dive watches, the amphibias, but they're just very reliably made. Not the most accurate watches in the world, but you're not going to be able to break them. So, there you go. Hopefully at least some of that was in frame. Um, and yeah, overall, um, I'll ha keep having a go with the Orient and see if I can get it going. But yeah, be very careful about working with magnetic fields if you've got a nice watch, because it might be a death sentence of a nice watch. Um, so yeah, and of course, regular infantry compasses type things are very good to just check if a watch is magnetised. Have the compass, you know, doing its job, put a watch near it. If the compass field starts messing about, you know, something's going on. So there you go, but yeah, as said, Vostoks, the reason I like them so much is just because of how incredibly reliable they are. Um, you know, 
that have said not the most accurate watches in the world, but if you want a watch that you can literally use and abuse every day and not have any issues with, Vostok's are brilliant.